Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Mana Chamber, or welcome to Mana Chamber. I appreciate every single person who is stopping by this video today. Today, we are doing a ranking video for every single commander you could possibly play as in Ravnica Remastered. It is the most recent set to just recently release. It is, of course, a bunch of stuff from Ravnica, so it's all reprints, all stuff like that. Um, different Ravnica games, you know, or Ravnica sets throughout the history of the Magic the Gathering card game. And yeah, they're reprints, they're commanders. We basically have, uh, we're gonna pick, find the best, we're gonna find the worst, we're gonna rank them in tiers, school grade tiers, A, B, C, D, and F, the way you always want tiers to be. I gotta pull up the set here in my little side thing. So that way I can see everything you're seeing. And let's get into this. It's Aurelia, Exemplar of Justice. For a white, a red, and two. Two five, Angel, with flying, and Mentor. At the beginning of combat on your turn, choose up to one target creature card you control until the end of the turn. That creature gets plus two plus zero, gains trample if it's red, and gains vigilance if it's white. Um, so trample, vigilance for red white things, put a bunch of th red white things. What does mentor do? I'm not sure off the top of my head. I gotta figure it out when this creature attacks, put a plus one plus one counter on target attack a creature with lesser power. That's pretty cool. She's already got pretty weak power creature with lesser power so you're gonna want to buff her up very interesting okay well i think i think they seem really fun um i like the vigilance i like the trample ability throw a bunch of other multicolored red and white creatures in there i think that's pretty cool i'm gonna chuck her up into oh b tier i guess b for balanced that's what i'm going for i like it Four, two, five. It's good. Okay, Boar Berigmos Enraged. Two green, two red, seven, six, Cyclops with Trample. Whenever he deals combat damage to a player, reveal the top three cards of your library. Put all land cards revealed this way into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. You can discard a land and they deal three damage to any target. So you just discard land to deal damage. You want them to deal damage. They have trample. They're swinging a bunch. You want them to get a big back end, maybe? Hmm. Um, I don't think this is as good as the other one. It's way more expensive. In fact, I'm chucking this up to D tier. I know a lot of people like Borberg most. It just does not seem for me, right? Bruvac, the Grandiloquent. A blue and two human advisor, one four. If an opponent would mill one or more cards, they mill twice that many cards instead. I think this is super fun. This is like one of the best mill commanders out there that I know of. I'm putting him in A tier. Then we got Fibblethip, the Lost, for a blue and one. Homunculus, 1-1. One, one. Whenever they enter the battlefield, you draw the card. If it entered from your library or was cast from your library, draw two cards instead. When they become a target of a spell, shuffle them into their owner's library. They're cool, but man, as a commander, I'm really not sure. Shuffle it into your library. It's kind of strange. I'm actually putting him in F tier. I think he's the worst one to come out yet as far as him being your main commander. It's Ilarg, the Raised Boar, for two red and three. Bear God, 6-6 six, six with Trample. When he attacks... You may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped at attacking. Return that creature to your hand at the beginning of the next end step. If he dies or is put into exile from the battlefield, you may put it into its owner's library for third from the top. I think he's kind of cool. Get some draw card in there so you can get him back out. I think he's actually really fun putting stuff from your hand out. I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put him up to... Uh, let's go with A tier. I just feel, feel like he seems like a lot of fun. He's a boar god. It's not to love about that. It's Karlov of the Ghost Council, a black and white spirit advisor 2-2. Two, two. Whenever you gain life, put two plus one plus one counters on him. You can pay a black and white and remove six counters from him and exile target creature. This is super cool, super powerful. When you gain life, that's even scarier. Definitely putting that in A tier. I think that's big, bad, powerful. 
Cranko, Mob Boss. Two red and two goblin warrior, three, three. Tap him, create X, one, one red goblin creature tokens where X is the number of goblins you control. We all know how busted Cranko is. Everybody knows he's an A tier. He's super beef. He's super mean. You just get tons of goblins. He's the goblin man. He's Cranko, the goblin man. Lavinia, Azorius Renegade for a blue and white human soldier, two, two. Each opponent can't cast non creature spells with mana value greater than the number of lands that player controls. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, if no mana was spent to cast it, counter that spell. So she's kind of controly. She's right in the middle of the road for me. I mean, she could be fun, but it's like also up to the decks you're playing against sometimes too, right? So let's put it in C tier. Lazav, the multifarious. Yeah, that's what it says. A black and blue shapeshifter, one, three. Whenever he enters the battlefield, you surveil one, you can pay X, and he becomes a copy of a target creature card in your graveyard with mana value X, except his name is Lazov, the Multifarious. He's legendary in addition to his other types, and he has this ability. So he just becomes copies of things in your graveyard. That's actually super fun. I dig this a lot. I'm putting it in B tier. Real fun. It's Massacre Girl, a black and three human assassin, 4-4 four, four with menace. When she enters the battlefield, each other creature gets minus one, minus one until the end of the turn. Whenever a creature dies this turn, each creature other than her gets minus one, minus one until the end of the turn. She's super mean. She just slaughters everybody when she comes out. I think she's big, bad, fun. Uh, I mean, I feel like I'd throw her an A tier. I just think she's super cool. The first time I went against her, I was like, well, what's going on here? Um, it's Niv Mizzet Reborn. A Wooberg, so white, blue, black, red, green, dragon, avatar, 6-6 six, six with flying. Whenever he enters the battlefield, reveal the top 10 cards of your library. For each color pair, choose a card that's exactly those color from among them. Put the chosen cards into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in random order. So you want a bunch of two color cards in your deck with this. I don't even know what you could do with that. It seems kind of cool, kind of fun, kind of interesting. I'll throw them in B tier. Why not? We got the other Niv Mizzet, or another Niv Mizzet, I should say. Niv Mizzet Pay Rune. Hey, I just did a command or a historic brawl video with him recently. Go check out that video if you want to. Uh, he's a three red and three blue dragon wizard, five five. He can't be countered. He is flying. Whenever you draw a card, he deals one damage to any target. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery spell, you draw a card. Or what? Sorry. Whenever a player casts an instant sorcery spell, they draw a card. So he's just busted. Everybody knows how busted he can be. I know you can do infinite combos with him. He's just a wonky donkey guy. It's the last Niv Mizzet. Niv Mizzet, the Fire Mind, for two red, two blue, and two Dragon Wizard, four four with flying. Whenever you draw a card, he deals one damage to any target. You can tap him to draw a card. So this one's very similar to the other one but weaker and more expensive yeah that's just what it comes down to in fact i might throw him in c tier for being the worst nib mizzet of the set in my opinion maybe not the other one could be better he just seems more interesting prime speaker zagana two blue two green and two merfolk wizard one one when they enter the battlefield with x plus one plus one counters on them where x is the greatest power among other creatures you control when they enter the battlefield, draw cards equal to their power. That's pretty fun. So you put her out after you have a big beefy boy out. Maybe like that new one from Lost Caverns of Ixalan. That's like a 6-6 six, six dinosaur. Three drop. That's crazy. I mean, she's way more expensive though. She's a six drop. That's kind of ridiculous. You refill your hand. There's nothing wrong with that. You get a couple big things. For me, that's a B. It's probably A tier, honestly. I'm throwing it in a B tier for my personal feelings about it. Rakdos, Lord of Riots, two red and two black, demon, six, six. You can't cast spells unless an opponent lost life this turn. He's got flying and trample. Creature spells you cast cost one color, so less to cast for each one life your opponents have lost this turn. So you want to get stuff that's going to ping them for sure or just do regular damage. Seems like a really fun, really powerful deck in my opinion. I think he seems super fun. Rakdos, scary. Savra. Queen of the Golgari, a green, a black, and two elf shaman, two, two. Whenever you sacrifice a black creature, you may pay two life. If you do, each other player sacrifices a creature. Whenever you sacrifice a green creature, you may gain two life. 
pretty crazy. Try to make a bunch of like multicolored things, like make a bunch of pests or something. That'd be pretty fun. This seems up my alley. Seems pretty well up my alley. Four drop on top of that. It's probably like a B tier in all reality though. Probably a B tier. Tajik Lesions Edge. A white, a red, and one human soldier. Three, two with haste and mentor. Prevent all non-combat damage that would be dealt to other creatures you control. Pay a white and a red, and he gains first strike until the end of the turn. He seems cool. He can stop everybody from beating up on your army. I think he's fun. He seems like a lot of fun. He's a B tier for me. Seems like tons of fun. Tesa, Orzhov, Scion, a black, a white, and one. Human advisor, 2 3. Sacrifice three white creatures to exile a target creature. Whenever another black creature you control dies, create a 1 1 white spirit creature token with flying. She seems really fun and really cool, too. I definitely dig that. That's B tier. B tier for me, tier. Tulsimir, Wolf Blood, a white, a green, and four. Elf Warrior, three, four. Other green creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Other white creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Tap him to create Voha, a legendary two, two green and white wolf creature token. So it's a three, three wolf token right off the bat. Um, this is fun. I like the um, like aesthetic of it, the elf, wolf, warrior thing. Is it amazing to me? It's very expensive. I'm honestly probably going to throw it in D tier, really, for this set. But it's cool. I like, I like the theme. Tomic, Distinguished Advocist, 2 white. Human Visor, 2-3 with flying. Lands on the battlefield and land cards in graveyards can't be the targets of spells or abilities your opponents control. Your opponents can't play land cards from graveyards. Could shut some decks down. Kind of control. Pretty fun. Your lands are safe. Let's give it a C tier. I'm not afraid of it. And finally, Yeva, Nature's Herald. For two green and two elf shaman, four, four. With flash, you may cast green creature spells as though they had flash. Of course, that's mean. Everybody knows flash is mean on stuff like that. Let's just throw it in B tier because I just know how mean that can be. So, what do you think? What do you think about my tier lists? These all pass? Pass class with an A? Do these all pass class? With a B, just a little bit worse. Pass class barely with a C. Actually, this is really barely passing. This dude failed. Fibble Thip, I'm sorry. F in chat for Fibble Thip. We got to rank him as the worst guy of the set. Fibble Thip the Lost. You are lost. You need to take a new major, my friend. Go find something better for you because you flunked this particular set. A tier. There's a lot of good, interesting things in A tier. What is drawing me? I mean, like I said, I played with Niv Mizzet soon. Man, this Rakdos is kind of drawing me in. Massacre Girl. Cranko, everybody knows, is busted. Uh, whatever, the Karlov guy. Super cool. Super cool. Uh, this boar. I'm kind of down with the boar. Uh, and then the Grand Ungoliant, whatever his name is. Milling can be super fun. I'm giving it up to Karlov. The Ghost Council. Just something about it, man. Just... You could put so many plus one counters on him, then you can remove it to exile. Give him hexproof or something. Make him just unstoppable. Could be incredible. He's just like shutting down whatever you want, really. Love to see it. All right, that's it. Do you think this is the best guy of the set? Is there somebody that I missed that should have actually been there instead of that? Is Fibble Thip actually the worst? Was there somebody that I missed out on? He would be great in the 99, but man, as a commander, he's just rough for this set. Just real rough. Well, I appreciate your time today. I really hope that you consider subscribing to the channel. We got all kinds of cool ranking videos coming up. Murders or Call Off Manor is going to come up here really soon. We'll do a ranking video for that. Uh, we're going to play tons of historic brawl, standard brawl, some of it too. Uh, you have a chance to influence the channel in the community tab. You know, we're always putting in polls and votes there to try to help move uh, forward and see what kind of commanders are going to get played with. So love to have you around. Have a good one later on, and bye-bye.